Hi, today we're going to take a look and see how to install a copper mod onto your Dell Venue Pro 8. Um, what you'll need uh, a 6x6 or you could alternatively use a 6x3. I went for the largest sheet that will probably fit in there. Um, so it's a 6x6, it's 26 gauge. Um, just pick that up off of Amazon, $8. Uh, we're going to use some picking tools, some thermal grease, and some double sided carpet tape. Now, what, and well, and possibly a Dremel. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I'll be using a kind of a, the instructions that uh, Smith Mole off the tablet. PC forums. Uh, I basically got this idea from him. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to take the case off this. I'm going to start. Here's the top of it. I'm going to start at the bottom here and see how easy this rubberized edge can come off. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery. Just in case. And Then what I'm going to do is take this little piece of foam off. So from what I know, <coughs> the processor is behind this copper area right here. and. These sections here contain the memory and SSD or EMMC or whatever you want to call it. Um, so now I've got my sheet of paper and I'm going to kind of measure and see, well, sheet of copper, sorry. Uh, I'm going to try to measure how I want this to lay down on here and then. Just kind of make a mark on it of where I need to cut and trim that off a little bit. I'll probably need to get some pliers to try and mold this into the shape I need. What I don't want to do is scratch up the copper. So basically, I'm going to cover the copper with cloth or a towel and once it's covered up like that, I can use my pliers and try to bend it a little bit into shape that I want without marring the copper too badly. When you get done you'll kind of have uh, something like this uh, where you will have one area go down and touch this copper area, this copper area, and this copper area. The other thing we're going to need to do is on the inside of this plate there's two tabs that we'll have to break off with probably an X-Acto knife or actually the pliers that I have might do the trick. If I think about it, 
Let's find out. Yeah, those pinch right off. So that was actually fairly easy. Just twist those right off. So now at this point, you can take your double sided tape and uh, cut a strip of it that will fit right there on the battery. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up these surfaces a little bit. Got my arc to clean. Copper plate ready to be installed. I'm going to go ahead and put on the thermal grease. You don't want to let this copper touch any of the anything that's going to short. So just be conscious of of where you're placing it. So, uh, at this point, I think I'm good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this double-sided tape on. Just blew off my shim. Now, be sure to reconnect the battery first, because otherwise you will not have power. Okay. So, I'm going to lay this on, and I want to be super careful because A, I don't want to short anything, and B, I don't want to get it stuck to the tape in the wrong spot. So there we go. Got that pushed on there. And now I'm going to take this little piece and put it on the back to add pressure right in that spot. Right where we want it. And go ahead and put the cover back on. Okay, covers back on, and uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and push this power button and hope that it doesn't fry. Looks good. So back into Windows. and uh, we'll do some testing.